we now discuss the solution of the problem from the section trigonometry. The problem is related to find the number of solutions of a trigonometric equation in a given interval. This question has appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 29th June 2022 in the second shift. The given question is the number of solutions of the equation sin x is equal to cos square x in the interval open interval 0 comma 10 is we are given a trigonometric equation sin x is equal to cos square x and required to find the number of solutions of this quadrat this trigonometric equation in the open interval 0 comma 10. Let us now discuss the solution of the problem in detail and uh, here we are discussing the solution of the problem in two methods. Now we concentrate on this method, method one. So I am going to discuss the solution of the problem in the first method. We have sin x is equal to cos square x that is the given trigonometric equation where x belongs to the open interval 0 comma 10. We write for cos square x in terms of sin square x that is 1 minus sin square x. Then the equation becomes sin x is equal to 1 minus sin square x. Then that will imply sin square x plus sin x minus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation in sin x. So the sin x is given by minus b plus r minus under the square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a and that will give rise to minus 1 plus r minus root 5 by 2. Right. Now notice that minus 1 minus root 5 by 2 is less than minus 1. Yes. And minus 1 plus root 5 by 2 is less than 1. Agreed. This is less than minus 1. This is less than 1. Therefore, sin x takes the value minus 1 plus root 5 by 2. This being less than 1. And we reject minus 1 minus root 5 by 2 for sin x. Because minus 1 less than or equal to sin x less than or equal to 1. That means sin x value belongs to the o closed interval minus 1 to plus 1. Right. So observe that 7 pi by 2 is approximately equal to 7 by 2 into 3.14 that is 10.99 that is greater than 10. Therefore, this open interval 0 comma 10 is, is properly contained in the open interval 0 comma 7 pi by 2. Right. Right. Now we ask the question, for how many values of x in this open interval 0, 10, we have sin x is equal to minus 1 plus root 5 by 2. The answer to this is the number of times the line y is equal to minus 1 plus root 5 by 2 intersect with the graph of sin x. So that means we have to draw the graph of sin x in the open interval 0 to 10 and take the line y is equal to this one that is a, the line parallel to x axis and see how many times this line intersects the graph of sin x. So that will be the number of times this line intersects with the graph of sin x. So let us see. So that is what we have done so far. So we go for, you know, graphical representation. Yes, that is our sin x. This is our sin x 0 to 10, up to 0 to 10, in the interval 0 to 10. Agreed. So the sin x is here, right. Now we take the line y is equal to minus 1 plus root 5 by 2. See how many times this line intersects 
the graph of sin x. So that's the line, blue line. y is equal to minus 1 plus root 5 by 2. So we have obtained the points of intersection of this line and the curve and the curves sin x, graph of sin x. So it is intersecting here. That's one. Here, number two, three, and four. Up to ten only we have to do. So the number of times, that is the four times the line intersect the graph of sine x in 0 to 10. So the answer is the 4. So the number of solutions of sine x is equal to cos square, cos square x in the open interval 0, 10 is 4. Observe that the line y is equal to minus 1 plus root 5 by 2 intersect the graph of sine x 4 times in the open interval 0, 10. Therefore, the number of solutions of the equation sin x is equal to cos square x in the open interval 0, 10 is 4. The answer to this question is 4. So that is method 1. That is method 1. Now I will explain you how to get the answer by method 2. So we have the trigonometric equation and uh, we have already observed that 0, 10 is n is properly contained in the the open interval 0, 10 is properly contained in the open intervals 0 to 7 pi by 2. So we are asking how for how many values of x in the open interval 0, 10 we have sin x is equal to cos square x. Now the answer for that is the number of times the graph of sin x intersect the graph of cos square x in 0, 10. So this time we are we are uh, talking about the number of times the graph of sin x intersect with the graph of cos square x in the interval 0, 10. Right. So let's say so we draw the cos x here in 0 to 10 cos x this is the cos x graph of cos x. Now if you square it, what happens? If you square it, the negative values will become positive values. Positive values. So the negative portion will not be there. So these will be converted into, into positive values. So the curve will be above, above the x-axis, including x-axis. Agreed. So now cos square x. So now the negative values have become positive values and this is your cos square x. Agreed. Now we draw sin x. That's the sin x curve in the interval 0 to 5. So now we superimpose. That means both put together sin x and cos square x. Let's ask the cos square x to come. So the cos square x has come and the points of intersection we have to see. This is one point of intersection, the second one, the third one and the fourth one. Let's see the points of intersection, first one, second one, third one, fourth one. So that's all in the open interval 0 to 10, 0 to 10. So again, so that means uh, the graph of sin x intersect the graph of cos square x four times in the open interval 0, 10. Therefore, we observe that the graph of cos square x intersect the graph of sin x four times in 0, 10. Therefore, the number of solutions of the equation sin x is equal to cos square x in the open interval 0, 10 is 4. The answer to this question is 4. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem related to finding the number of solutions of a trigonometric equation in a given open interval. And uh, if you have the fair knowledge of the graphs of sin x, cos x 
and cos square x, then this problem will be easy. Otherwise, the problem will be difficult and uh, concentrate on the graphs of sin x, the graphs of cos square x, the graphs of tan x and so on and so forth. Sometimes the graphical argument will be easier. Yeah. That is the detailed discussion about this problem and I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem and I wish you all the best. Thank you.